So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your iPhone apps are completely overheating your particular iPhone. Now what does this even mean? Well it might mean that your particular iPhone that you basically have, the applications whenever you open up a certain app or whatever the case is, it may just end up overheating your iPhone even if it's like a basic application. The very first thing I'd recommend doing is just making sure that the software you're using is completely up to date. So make your way over into your iPhone settings, click on general, click on software update, and just go and see if for some reason when updating your phone or whatever, like you know, if you have an update available. There can also be some situations where installing a beta like the one I have here can also cause some issues. So make sure you're not installing a beta, make sure it's something like that. And that can probably be a main way to go and fix this problem for the most part. Now on top of that, another thing you may want to make sure is if you're you know, in a hot environment or if you're charging your phone while using it, it can give the impression that it's the application that's causing your phone to heat, but in reality, it's probably just the you know, phone itself that's overcharging or overheating from the charge. So that might be another thing to kind of be careful of. It's not the biggest deal in the world. But that's another thing to kind of keep in mind there too. On top of that, the application you might be using might be severely outdated. So what you can try doing here is making your way over into your app store, just like this. And what you want to do is you want to make your way over into your search bar down here, and you want to search for that particular application that's causing your phone to overheat. So what you can do here is you can just type in something like Snapchat or whatever application you have. And what you want to do is you want to update that particular application. For a vast majority of people, what you can try doing here is updating the app and that might end up fixing the problem for you. And I would probably say and argue that for a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that's another big thing I'd recommend doing on top of those things. If those things are still not working, you can also try restarting your iPhone. So try restarting it or trying to see if for some reason there's a problem with your iPhone in general, like if it's overheating like crazy, it could be because it's like an older iPhone. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.